All right, everyone, I want to show you guys as Windows 8 gets closer to the release date. Um, we've all heard about the Windows 8 tablets. So this is actually the Samsung, Gal uh, Samsung Series 7 slate. Uh, this is, I got loaded up. I've been running Windows 8 since the developer's edition. Uh, has been going through all these. Now I've been running the uh, release to manufacture since uh, August, since the release date. This is a very, very nice tablet. This is running the uh, Intel i course second generation as you can see here it's got you know the lock switch for rotation power on on the bottom it just has a quick uh, for the docking station here and it's got the switch button here for the windows and here is the headset uh sorry this is the psu power supply uh the mini uh hdmi volumes up and down your headset and one usb port here and on the top we have actually another mic here and micro sd card goes right in here and over here another microphone so it's a dual microphone and this is a nice little case i got here um it's uh just makes it like a little stand as well so that works pretty nice but let me quickly uh show you guys i'm gonna go ahead it's powered off i like windows 8 this runs very nice see how quickly it resumes or out of standby switch up let me uh put my password here really quick log in that's how quickly i'm in windows 8 tablet uh this does support the stylus the stylus that comes originally with it is this one right here but i'm actually using the samsung um, uh, this is the Samsung S Pen. It still works the same because it's a Wacom digitizer, so it's basically the same thing. I, I prefer this pen over this, even though this has like a eraser for some applications. But I, I like this one. This I've used it for my Galaxy Note, uh, for my Samsung Note 10.1. Works great for this. So one pen's nice that they've kept that, and this works for everything like this, as you can see. You can click on the corners or anything I want. So I just want to show you guys quickly. This is what you can expect from um, a Windows 8 tablet once they come out. Uh, when it becomes available. And this is very nice. See how this is very um, user friendly. As you can see, look how quickly anywhere I'm at. If I want to install or do this. Uh, make that full screen as you can see this is this is very very fluid runs very quick i i like this very much uh you can go to pins uh as you can see inking on this is the best uh, i haven't had a tablet that works so great with a uh, stylus on it again this was uh, an eraser oops sorry i guess this one uh sorry some applications i i think it does uh use it as an eraser but I guess on this one it doesn't it's still right in on that one but um, most of the times I, I just like to just I can just switch but by it you can change the colors um, and then it will be race and then say Samsung 7 slate So it, it's very nice. It works very, very fast. Like I was saying, um, I can have my, I got one note running as well. See how quickly everything just loads up. Even though I have this right here, um, I'm able to still have enough screen space here to be able to work. Rotation on this works excellent, as you can see. Then it becomes a full tablet. The only thing I do, um, it is on the long when it becomes this way I think a 10.1 10.6 as like the Microsoft Surface tablet is coming out I think it makes the best ideal um, tablet if you're gonna have it in a portrait mode to hold and if you're gonna you know be inking or anything I think that's that's probably the best size 10.6 I think 11.6 might be a little well, at least for me, a little on the long, too long, a little bit too long to be maybe, maybe once the tablets come out, the other ones, of course, will be a lot lighter, pretty much the size of a, the Galaxy Note here and the thickness. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see, wait and see, find out how that turns out. But so far, I think it might be a little on the too long for me. 
that's just my my saying and again everybody's different so uh, it can it can possibly work for you or it might not work for you but again this is uh the slate working here um, everything loads up very fast as you can see uh, I, I got some applications to update here I'll show you how quickly everything does update I can just hit install and you can see how everything just uh, updates here as you can see I'll say pending and the other thing is uh, you bring this and you can see the hovering over which is very nice I don't know if you guys can see that uh, how it hovers over so you, you can go back and forth as you can see here I'm gonna load up everything that's on the store here and you can just scroll this I mean it's so uh, and then you can just uh, zoom back in this gives you a quick look as you want to go into the entertainment so that goes into all your entertainments um, let's go to let's go to sports here real quick I think I saw sports here yeah, there we go and you can see you can install that really quick top free uh, you can see all they have is here very quick and this all can be running here in the background as well settings this is nice because it shows up everything really quickly here so you're able to jump back and forth whatever you want this is shows you that your your very quick settings you might have this is if you want to have a second monitor any uh, shares you'll have there again search like I mentioned one of my other videos using the Toshiba the search I kind of little bit disappointed that it does does not search everything that you don't have to select whether you want to search apps settings or files uh, I like a Windows 7 in the previous versions of Windows all the time that you had the start button and then you click search and then you can uh, search like if you're looking for a document you won't have to worry about choosing files it would automatically know to look for that file or if you're uh, type looking for settings I just would type in any type of setting like if it was device it would pop up now I, if you type in here you would have to put uh, device and of course I would have to go into settings so it can tell me okay this is what I want a device so you know in a way it's it's okay as they've done it a different way but um, maybe they can in, later on there'll be some way to enable the feature again you see me drag drag things down and that closes things up uh, let's open up maps just so you guys can take a look Oops, let's go back here as you can see you got her you have the sidebars here you can drag them out or pull anything you want or if you bring it back you see anything that you had open I can go back to my desktop and I can just say okay I'm gonna leave this here I'll leave allow here and again you still have your little section that you'll be working here on the side while you're doing any other things here again if, uh, you can also write with your finger since this becomes capacitive type screen but if you bring this close by uh, just right about there that's where it detects the with the digitizer so that it becomes so now if I have this here it disables this which is nice because then that will allow you to you know use this ink without have to do any vectoring or anything on the screen so it works great a pressure sensitive and if I put it really dark you can see the difference in the color this a light stroke and putting pressure on it pressure no no hardly no pressure so it's able to do all that and you can have all this running here see how fluid everything is still is and even though this is actually running this only has four gigabytes of ram perfect still runs great um, everything's just like opens up quickly close that out let's go back um, Let's open up um, Publisher. See how quickly a publisher open it up. And right now you gotta remember I have Word, Note, OneNote, Publisher, Internet Explorer. Uh, I can open up 
uh, uh, files here just minimize that and I have this on the side as well for another app and it's still running without no hesitation no pause no nothing if you flicker up you get the option for doing all your applications again and you can go you know I'll do sports again here load that up it's just it just grows very nice very fast I'm really liking the Windows 7 this is but basically what you can expect to see as uh, Friday comes around October 26 with Windows 7, 8 excuse me Windows 8 the gets Pro version of the tablets are going to start coming out uh, I believe Samsung and Asus might have one available this Friday October 26 and they'll be start releasing as time gets going in November but I do know that they have the add-on processor ones uh, running I believe uh, uh, I think there's uh, I forget that which version of that um is a newer version um, that will be running on those uh, Windows 8 it won't be the pro version Windows 8 there's will be Windows 8 so again, if you're needing uh, to run Windows 8 leg legacy applications, you're going to probably have to look into getting a Windows 8 tablet. But if you like want to do um, like a device add-on to your existing Windows 8 or Windows 7 computer, uh, Windows RT would be the uh, choice you will have. Basically, that would be like uh, having a tablet like this, like Android tablets. So it's just an add-on that um, will be for your um, Windows 8 or Windows 7. So when I click on things, everything opens up very quick. As you can see, um, works fine. I can anytime you're in an application, it's just a matter of flicker up to give you more of a menu. You can go to NFL. I'll load up um, anything that's happening in the NFL. Uh, I can go to the game that I any game that you choose on the scores, and I'll give you some. This uh, again, you can also just be clicking here back and forth to go back. You can see if you want to go to the desktop, or again, um, you can bring it here and drop it in here. Now that becomes your app or drop this one or the store. Anything that you have running on there or just flicker on. Just very smooth. This, this is very um, great um, that it runs so so smooth. You'll be amazed how quickly everything runs on Windows 8. E even if this is running with a uh, I core 2 processor uh, second generation this is a second generation I believe this is a 1.6 it only has 4 gigabytes of RAM and it acts like it's actually running fast let me see what uh, I can't remember what this one uh, uh, let me see settings can't remember what the score of this one was actually done uh, the, as you can see, it's not so bad. Uh, processor calculation 6.2. Let me zoom that in there for you guys so you guys can take a look. Um, as you can see, 6.2 for the processor. Memory RAM 5.9, not bad for having 4 gigabytes of RAM. The graphics is actually 4.3. That, that's actually better than uh, rating that I got on my Toshiba Z935. So as you can see, the 3D 5.6. Primary hard disk 7.4. I got an 8 on the Toshiba. So, as you can see, it's um, working very nice. Uh, this is actually the only one that's lower than the Toshiba. I got 4.9 copy version. version. Uh, Windows has eliminated. Um, let me see. Let's go to. Let me go right here real quick. We'll open up a, a new. With, uh, now that with the, this final release and the previous uh, Consumers Preview Edition, um, I did have something that's been missing and I wish hopefully that Microsoft will fix it. The tip hover, or not the tip hover, but when you would click on this, you would get the pop-up for it to um, either ink the 
uh, like any like the msn.com or any search that you have now it's only you have to actually bring the keyboard up and then you'd have to type in msn.com or here I can go again change this to this and let me delete that so you can show you guys I can I can write it here but it does not pop up automatically any longer so I'm hoping that this gets fixed it does work on some of the applications I've noticed let me show you guys quickly if I'm using the default browser from the uh, UI here if I click on this that does it, it will pop it up as you can see and that's how I was working on the actual back browser not the browser that's provided with the new applications here so uh, hopefully um, that gets back into the Windows 8 let me Yahoo here there you go as you can see that that works so I just thought to show you guys hopefully some of the pin um, seems to be like not broken but it's not working like it was before you you can have to pop up the your keyboard in order to make it work so uh, hopefully Microsoft can do something and fix that so we can get that working back like it was before okay thanks for watching